Audio Jungle. for children the biggest danger for our women and children today is rape in my foundation we encounter hundreds and thousands of kids that are raped on a daily basis the other day we had a four-year-old in Lagos raped by her father and this is a very serious problem in Nigeria the other day there were six women I met at a restaurant, we were talking, five had been raped, one at a police station. If, if we are not careful, soon a great majority of our women in Nigeria would have been raped victims and they would have been raped as children. One of the young ladies said to me, and she had a frown on her face, she said, until she was 13 and had sex education in school, she did not know she was raped. So in addition, in addition to lack of education, lack of opportunity for our children, rape is a very serious issue. Our mothers and our senators should look at it, how that can be avoided. Our laws are too lax. When you go to court, the onus is on the victim to prove that the perpetrator uh, shouldn't have done what he did. And it is very difficult to get conviction. Now. What is also important is we must find a way to keep our children in school longer so that they can stay, get to be 18 before they get married. I know Senator Marifa said it's nobody's business when you get married. But the point is, another big problem we have in Nigeria is the explosive population growth. We may argue with China that China is immorally wrong to say you have one child per family. But if China had not done that, China would have had a population of 5 billion, maybe 80% of the world's population. And that would have caused chaos. Today, we are growing too fast. And let me say this. The population growth of Nigeria is no longer a northern problem. Please, I think everybody, it is not a northern problem. In Bielsa the other day, for every village and hut I went to, there were 10, 15, 20 children without clothes outside the hut. We are dealing with a time bomb. And again, these are children. They need to get to school, which the state cannot provide education for. They need clothing. The parents cannot pay for that. The parents themselves have no job. And these kids are vulnerable. And if these kids are vulnerable, they become sex victims. And after they become sex victims, we raise a bunch of very angry children who, became, who become women and who become our mothers. So this motion is very, very important. I'd like everybody to pay attention to the fact that these kids are victims, but these victims will become women. And when they become women, you will understand the difficulties you will have when a rape victim at three or four or five becomes... When a three-year-old rape victim, a five-year-old rape victim becomes a mother, becomes a future senator, becomes a future governor, becomes a future leader. You need to understand the psychological effect it will have on the women of today and the women of tomorrow. I know for a fact, with my interaction, a lot of women I meet today are rape victims. They tell me. A lot of children are rape victims. I know. My foundation deals with it. So I urge my colleagues, this bill, this, this, this anniversary we're celebrating is very, very important. But we must find a way in terms of our law enforcement officials how to deal with these problems. We must find a way in terms of governance and how to keep kids in school so we can avoid early marriages. We must find a way to deal with therapy because a lot of these kids today are traumatized. So there must be some kind of therapy to, make, to find a way for them to overcome these difficulties these children find themselves. If I did not have a foundation, I would not have known. But I know, so I have no excuse. So I urge all of you to so pay attention to this. What Senator Marifa is saying is true. If the parents are dead, the children are on their own. But what is, what is so strange about all of this is about 
the perpetrators of this crime are those close to the children and close to the family. They don't come from far away. I can give you statistics of how this happens. It's either an uncle, a brother, a sister, a father. These are the people who exploit these children. These children are a gift from God. They are what we have. We need to protect them and look after them. For every day, in some household, in some family, somebody's getting raped, and we will confront these women at some point. It is a terrible thing to talk about. I am embarrassed to say it, but Nigeria is becoming a nation full of rape victims. And I beg you, I beg you, I beg you, please, pay attention to your children, pay attention to our women. We cannot afford to have a society where we become victims of this crime. Thank you very much. Thank you.